I am burying my sourdough starter in this crazy challenge for two weeks. Is my sourdough starter going to survive? Why though? Why? 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 You might think that I'm a little crazy. And yes, I am. Well, I will be on vacation for two weeks. And I want to use the time to do something totally crazy. Ah. Wait, what? Now in a recent discussion with another sourdough baker, I got a really cool idea. Could you sort of change the properties of your sourdough starter by selecting the strains of microorganisms that are the strongest inside of your starter? So could you sort of push evolution in one direction? And the direction that I'm aiming for is, I am very lazy. So I wanna make a sourdough starter that can survive longer without feeding because I don't wanna feed my sourdough starter every day. And by starving it for two weeks, I'm hoping that the microorganisms that can survive for two weeks without food, that they're going to survive. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be taking them and I'm gonna be making another bread. And then from that point onward, I can be even more lazy about my sourdough. You are totally crazy. Thank you, I guess. What have I done? I'm feeling like such a terrible person right now. My most precious sourdough starter is now right here next to me. No food for two weeks. I'm just terrible. I am so sorry. Now I expect there to be three outcomes of this experiment. Number one, my sourdough starter turns into a gigantic zombie and eats me. I really think that that's gonna be the likeliest outcome. And that could definitely be a Hollywood movie for bread nerds. Number two, my sourdough starter simply dies. <laughs> All me are familiar. Now that would be very sad. Number three, I'm gonna feed it one more time, it's gonna come back to life and I can actually make a bread out of it. That's the outcome that I'm hoping for. Well, let's see. I took a backup just in case and that stutter is gonna go with me on vacation. I like to take Brad Pitt with me wherever I'm traveling to. Then I'm feeding Brad Pitt with local flour. My goal is really to create the super stutter, the most diverse sourdough stutter on this planet. Seriously, which sourdough stutter has ever traveled the world? And I got a small cool surprise waiting for you at the end of this video, so just wait a little longer. But before that, I'm gonna be showing you some cool alien dancing moves. If you think that was cool, then please check out the video because that video is gonna show you how to store your sourdough starter for 250 million years so it won't die. <laughs> I really love this randomness of this channel. I'm sorry, but my jokes are the worst. Drop a comment in the comment section with your expected outcome and what you think would be another cool challenge for Brad Pitt. And now here comes where you should do it because a random person took comment is gonna win a little bit of Brad Pitt. I'm gonna be shipping it to your address and then you can bake with my sourdough stutter. So let me know. Before I'm out of here, if you wanna see some really hot looking pictures of Brad Pitt traveling, then make sure you follow me on Instagram or you join our Discord server. And once I'm back, we're gonna lift this mystery. Is this going to work or not? Bye bye.